Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using MongoDB Studio 3D. So in my previous video, we discussed about the MongoDB Studio 3D GUI tool, right? And uh, we also discussed what are the particular features are available in that, right? So let's go ahead. And uh, today we are going to create some collections and some records in this Studio 3D, right? So first of all, uh, you need to start the Studio 3D. If you don't have or if you are new to this video, then please go to my previous video and watch how to install this Studio 3D, right? I have already installed and uh, let's connect my DB. So here you can see this is my recent connection and uh, I'm just trying to connecting it but it is giving me the connection error, right? So as I told you that before going to connect, you need to start the MongoDB service, right? So here you can see, you just type MongoD dash dash DB path, okay? And uh, the particular DB folders path you have to copy, right? And you have to paste it over here then your MongoD service is going to start, right? So now you can minimize this and just go to the again. And now just try to connect. So it is going to successfully connect it, right? So you can observe over here that this particular connection have these three predefined databases and one we earlier created in my previous video, right? So in this, I have already created some collections, right? So let's create one new connection, uh, collection and uh, let's see how we can do that. So first of all, uh, you just need to select the database and uh, just click on the IntelliCell. So it is going to start. Now I'm just going to clear this, okay. So as I told you earlier that what is the current uh, database I'm working with, so if I write db and then if i execute then right now i am in a my db that's fine right so you can see if you provide the collections right so collections command and if you execute then right now you are having these three collections okay right so there are various ways to uh, creating the collections right so first of all let me create one another collection so you will get the idea so I want to create one collection, then I just need to go to the create collection. So you just, you just see, this is the beauty of IDE, right? So you don't need to remember each and every functions, right? It gives you the method name with parameters. So create collection. And into that, I'm just going to create my collection two, right? So if you execute this, then it retrieves the result and shows you okay 1.0 right so uh you can see here this is the particular output panel cell output so here it is providing a different view right now it is showing the json view right if i want to see the table view then i just click on that if i just want to see the tree view then i just click on that right so whatever uh, particular output is comfortable with you, then you can just, I'm just going for the JSON, right? So now if I again copy and paste this particular command, and if I execute that, then now you can see my collections are now added. So my collection two is added, right? So this way you can create the collection. One another uh, important thing is that, that suppose if you are not going for create collection, if you directly write the particular collection name suppose say now i'm going to write my collection collection three uh, just simply i'm going to insert one record right so you can see the record is a name value uh, you can see record is a key value pair so name and uh, name is suppose say max maxi right so you see right now we have only this my collection, my collection one, my collection two, right? We don't have my collection three. But if I execute this row, then you can see it is showing me acknowledge true. One record is added with this particular auto-generated object ID, 
right? So now suppose if I see show collections, show collections, right? And if I execute this line, then you can see my collection is automatically added. So this way also you can add the particular collection, right? So uh, this is very easy guys, right? Now suppose if I don't want this collection, I want to drop this collection, right? So you just simply write db dot my collection uh, collection three dot drop, right? So you just go there and it returns the true, right? So now again, if you let me clear this so you can get okay now suppose if i execute then you can see my collection 3 is dropped successfully right so uh, this way you can uh, particularly create the collection guys right so uh, now let me create one collection that is uh, tb dot create collection and in that I'm going to create a college collection, right? So this is my collection. Okay, it's okay. Then let me check it is added or not. So you need to select that and okay. So college collection is uh, added, right? So now what I want to do, uh, I want to insert some records over here, right? So particularly to insert a record, we are having three different methods. First is the insert one. Second one is insert one you can use. Another one is the insert many you can use. And third one only insert you can use, right? So insert one and many we have discussed in my previous videos, right? So today we are going to use third method that is insert method, right? So let me just add this uh, particular record over here. So for adding this, we need to write the db dot the collection name that is my college collection dot insert, right? So uh, in this particular method, you can just see that we are going to insert multiple records. You can insert multiple records over here. So I have already created one JSON file. So here records are, you can say this is my first document. This is my second document like that, right? So we are just going to create this JSON file, right? It's an array and here the records, right? Or you can see the documents. It contains the enrollment number, student name, age and the city, right? So this particular data, I'm just copy and I'm just going to paste it over here in this collection. Right. So you can see, guys, these are the uh, particular collections we are having. Right. So now if you want to execute this command, then you just need to select whole query because we are just going to uh, select the one query selection. Right. So you can just uh, execute the statement and you can see that it acknowledged the true and it has added the particular records over here. You can see auto generated IDs are assigned to that by automatically, but these are the particular uh, enrollment numbers we are having. So, uh, and okay, sorry, we are having this index, sorry. So here you can just see our data is added, right? So you can see that here, uh, if you just go for the table view, then it's uh, showing like this eight fields. And if you just go to the tree view, then it's showing that eight fields are there added successfully and it is acknowledged true, right? So this way you can just toggle the output scenarios, whatever uh, you are having, right? Now, suppose if I want to see the particular data, right? So I just go to uh, select this line and I just go to execute that. Then you can see that here your data are there. So successfully added our data. So these are the four fields and auto generated IDs we are having. We have not provided our ID. These are the numbers guys, don't get confused over here. So if you want to provide your ID, 
like 001 and 002 instead of this object ID, then you need to set the uh, particular, you can say underscore ID field, right? We'll see in my next videos, whatever, whenever it comes, right? So you can see again, it's a table view. So if you want to see the data in a table view, then it will show all the fields like this, right? These are the tree views, right? So uh, whatever views are comfortable, so you can just uh, toggle in between, right? So uh, this way, guys, you can insert the multiple records at the same time with this, right? So in this video, we covered that how you can uh, create the collections, how you can see all the collections, how you can drop the collections, how you can insert the multiple records at the same time, right? Using MongoDB Studio 3D GUI tool. Thanks for watching, guys.